What's up guys? Today we are building a battery box using two lithium iron phosphate 16 amp hour batteries that I got off Amazon for 46 bucks a piece. That's uh, pretty low for a 16 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I know they're getting uh, cheaper every day, but that's still pretty low. So they got good reviews, um, but you never know. We'll find out, see if we got duds, see if we actually got batteries that work and uh, have somewhere near that rated capacity. We're not going to do any real technical tests or anything, but uh, you know, I, I'm just hoping they get me through an entire night of imaging, especially in the winter where nights are longer. I'm hoping to get eight to ten hours of uh, solid battery juice you know, out of this setup. We're going to wire them in parallel. In addition to the mount, we'll probably run the dew heaters off of this same pack in the winter. And then if these two batteries do all right, I might buy another one and make uh, just a single pack to run my laptop. So I already have a couple of these. Um, I think these are just regular lithium uh, batteries inside these. Uh, they call them like solar, portable solar generators you can hook solar panels up to them to charge them. Um, they work all right, but just regular lithium batteries inside those. So they're only really rated at 500 or so charges. Um, they might do better, they might do worse. But, uh, and, and the voltage also drops on these. I wouldn't say super fast, but it definitely drops steadily throughout the night. So an entire night of Im imaging, um, likely below uh, 11 volts, which depending on your, on your mount, uh, can make it do funny things. Um, I think it could probably potentially affect uh, tracking, uh, definitely affect slewing and stuff like that. So with lithium iron phosphate batteries, they, they tend to maintain their voltage uh, throughout the discharge. So um, hope, hopefully you can get down up 20% or so and still have, you know, over 12 volts of, uh, of juice coming out. So, um, I'll take you guys through all the, all the crap that I'm going to throw together into this battery box. And then, uh, and then, uh, after it's assembled, then I'll kind of walk you through the wiring. But right now, um, when you wire two batteries or more more than one battery in parallel, it's a good idea to have them at the same charge level, both fully charged and um, the same age battery. So these are two brand new batteries and right now I'm charging them up. So um, once those are, are good to go, I'll start putting this together and walk you through everything. All right, so I should probably clear this uh, telescope out of here and make some room to work on, but uh, I'll probably just work on the floor. So this is the box that, uh, that we're putting everything in. This is just like a, a plastic tactical ammo box from Harbor Freight. I think it was like six bucks with the coupon. But it, uh, it's got some storage up here up top. You know, no fuses or whatever, some cables. Um, it's got this little tray that you can pull out, which uh, is kind of nice because um, the batteries are the perfect height to sit right under this, so this will, you know, keep them from bouncing around or anything like that. And you throw some cables on there, whatever. Um, but then you also, if you do that, then you gotta have to, you're gonna have to plan out exactly where you're gonna install all your ports and you know what size of ports you want to use. So we got this uh, little. It's got a cigarette lighter port. It's got a dual USB. Uh, these are just 2.1 amp ones. You can get little marine panels like this that uh, have more powerful USB ports, but I probably won't even use them. Um, I also have the voltmeter right there, and then you got a little switch also. And then we got this one too. It's, this has uh, just a cigarette lighter port and the dual USB that also has a uh, voltmeter built into it as well with the switch. 
So I don't know which one of these I'm going to use. I guess we'll just see how these batteries fit to this box and see what we can fit. Because then you got these, you know, guys that are going to stick out into the interior of this. Um, so then we got a, a fuse holder that will run off the battery before, before um, the switch. And, uh, and then we got a little single cigarette lighter port too. So I'd like to have on this dual one, um, I think two cigarette lighter ports, one for the mount, one for the dew heaters. And then, then if I make another box, we'll have one that we'll plug an inverter into and then be able to plug our laptop into that inverter with the AC adapter. So uh, I, think that's, I think that's about it as far as all the crap we're throwing in here. So I'm going to get to prepping the uh, connections and then uh, once these batteries are charged, I'll connect everything together so you can see how to run everything. It shouldn't be uh, very complicated at all. And then we'll throw it all together and see if it, see if it works. Okay, so we got everything wired up and all of our ports installed and just waiting for the last battery to finish charging up all the way. So I'm just going to take you guys through all the wiring here so you can see how to run everything. It's not too complicated. Um, I guess I should also tell you the brand and model of the batteries that I'm using, just in case you might want to give them a shot. These are the Myadi, Myadi, M-I-A-D-Y, model LFP16AH off Amazon. Uh, for $46, $46.99, and free shipping, too, I believe. So, um, so, let's just get through the wiring here. This is our positive cable that's going to come off the batteries. And so, we're going to have two batteries connected together in parallel that will then run to the fuse and then from the fuse to the switch and then from the switch to all the ports. So at the very end of this wiring chain we'll have this battery here. This is the very end of our positive lead. So this battery will be connected and then on to the next terminal we'll connect to the other battery that would sit right here. And then from there we have our fuse, which then runs to the switch right here. Now the switch has three blades. Um, you guys aren't going to be able to see them here, but there's going to be two positive blades and one negative blade on the switch. And you should definitely check and see um, which of the positive blades goes directly to the batteries and which goes to uh, your ports. So on this one, the middle blade goes to the battery. So this, after the fuse, goes to the terminal on the middle blade. And then the lower blade, or the other positive blade, runs out into uh, our voltmeter here. And out, out of the voltmeter comes another wire that goes down to our cigarette lighter port. And out of that terminal runs another wire that heads over to our USB port. And out of that terminal runs another wire that crosses over to our second cigarette lighter port. And that's where it ends. Now as far as the negative cable, it's, uh, it's going to do something similar between the two batteries. Uh, so our, our positive cable, uh, you remember the very end of the uh, positive lead started on this battery then crossed over here and then went to the fuse and switch. For the negative we'll, we'll kind of do that opposite so the very end of the negative cable will be on this battery then the next terminal will go to this battery and then from out of that we'll run to the switch. And then from the switch, we'll run out to the voltmeter. Then we'll run out to the cigarette lighter plug. Then we'll run out 
to the USB port, then we'll run out to the second cigarette lighter plug. And let's see, we also got a couple pieces of foam. I just wrapped them in uh, painter's tape so they wouldn't break apart while they're in here, but that'll keep these two batteries from moving around side to side in here. Um, and then we have our tray, which is going to sit on top and keep them from bouncing up and down. And the reason why we're wiring these two batteries in parallel is because when you wire two or more batteries in parallel, you effectively double or triple or quadruple the uh, capacity of your system. So these two 16 amp hour batteries in parallel would uh, operate as a 32 amp hour power source, assuming you were running them all the way down to zero. Okay, everything's charged up, wired up. We have our second uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter plug installed. Uh, the only thing that I'm thinking about redoing is uh, these uh, cross wires between the two batteries are a little short. The negative is okay. The positive could use another inch or two, but let's give it a shot. Fuses in. Look at that. 13.3, 13.4 volts. I don't really have anything to test right now. My uh, EQ6R Pro is sitting outside right now. And, well, I guess I could bring this out and test it. All right, let's do that. Okay, got the mount plugged in. Power on. Port's working. And here we go. We got power. Let's try the other one. Yep, we're good to go there too. Let's see what the voltmeter's reading. 13.3. It's what I like to see. Alright. So, all in all, this project was a success. It took me few hours to get it done but this is the first one that that I've ever built and uh, just wanted to make sure everything was done properly so I soldered and used heat shrink and uh, it turned out well um, these batteries are super light I think this whole thing weighs less than five pounds uh, 32 amp hours should be plenty to get me through maybe even two nights of imaging um, Lithium iron phosphate batteries can be recharged several times more than regular lithium ion batteries. Uh, I think the rated uh, number of charges on these is 2000 as opposed to around 500 for regular lithium. Um, you can run these down a lot lower and the voltage stays steady as well. So that's good for, uh, for our mounts and accurate tracking. Uh, so hopefully this video was uh, helpful to some of you if you're looking for a power solution for ash photography or all night uh, viewing whatever. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'm sure uh, <laughs> I did something wrong and someone could point that out and, and uh, correct me. Um, but yep, feel free to do so in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.